Hey guys, my name is Shannon. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Silicon Power NVMe PCIe SSD 512GB M.2 drive. But before we go ahead and get started, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications to see exactly when I post a new video. But other than that, let's get started. Now I do want to go ahead and mention that Silicon Power did actually go out and send me this 512GB NVMe 1.3 PCIe Gen 3 ssd now this is an m.2 by 4 ssd so make sure that your motherboard actually goes ahead and supports it if you do have an m.2 by 2 lane you won't get the full speeds that this m.2 drive actually has to offer now it is pretty small and that is why it is very famous it has insanely quick speeds advertised at around 2200 megabytes per second read speeds and 1600 megabytes per second write speeds what are insanely quick now you can see on the motherboard this is how it's actually going to go ahead and look it's very tiny and here i'm doing some speed tests of a 7200 rpm hard drive what is one of the quickest hard drives you can go ahead and buy in the market 7200 meaning it spins that much per minute and here i'm comparing it to the actual nvme pcie ssd over here and you can see it insanely is way quicker over here whether no matter which test in 4k or normal sequential or random it blows it out of the way and this is great as this is what you're expecting when you are paying for this now i did transfer a 10 gig file as you can see it goes to two gigabytes per second what's insane then it goes ahead and slows down to make sure it, that it doesn't actually overheat or anything and then it will actually go back up now this is just how most ssds do work now this is using hmb what's host memory buffer instead of a dram cache but still offers insane speed as it does have slc and also 3d nand now this is a 10 gig file and it did it super quickly now these are some games i decided to go ahead and load some lighter to heavier games and these all do require internet except for the very first one but that shouldn't be affected since i am using gigabit ethernet over here and actually do have gigabit speeds as you can see the nvme ssd always tends to beat out the hard drive except in this final game where you're going to see that they're identically similar the only difference that i did go ahead and do was the ssd ran the games for the very first time and the hard drive i had already opened it and then reopened it once again just to go ahead and make it unfair to the ssd and still the ssd performed way better now over here i'm opening up premiere pro adobe audition after effects and also photoshop and as you can see the nvme ssd always tends to outperform the hard drive and this is insanely good now obviously whether you're in games or just loading up applications in game when you actually load up and go into a game you will notice much quicker speeds there but when you're actually opening up like Photoshop, After Effects or anything like that, it is a lot quicker to just open up the application. But when you are loading larger files, you'll definitely see it makes a massive difference. Now, you may think that 10 to 50 seconds doesn't really matter, but in a long run time, it saves you a lot of time. Over here, I'm also going to be doing a boot up test with this ssd over here and you could see i am loading up 12 applications in total once windows boots up there is a massive and significant difference within the actual times of booting up not only windows but also opening up the applications what i personally always love the quicker it is because i do turn off and turn on my pc every single day what obviously helps when booting it up it's up and running as soon as possible now i was really excited to actually go ahead and receive this device because it affects my workflow so much having a quicker pc and everything you do not know how much an ssd is so much better than the hard drive in terms of speed over here and you could even see it by the countdown over here so if you are still using a hard drive consider an upgrading into an ssd and if you do want go for it nvme ssd if your motherboard goes ahead and support it silicon power does actually sell both ssd in sata connection and nvme pcie ones depending on what you want to go ahead and use and whether you buy from silicon power or from another company that actually makes ssds this one is insanely good just for its price this 512 gigabyte nvme PCIe SSD only cost $100 Canadian, what is around $70 US, and that is insane for the price to performance that you are getting out of this. I think that Silicon Power does make such great devices that are definitely affordable for most people. 
So if you want a PC upgrade, this is definitely the cheapest way of doing it and also the most effective way since their performance beats out quite a lot of premium NVMe SSDs out there. So this is definitely one you should consider, especially for the capacity that you are going to be getting from it. Not only that is if your laptop actually does support an SSD or specifically an NVMe SSD over here, you will save actually quite a lot of battery life too since you don't have a physical hard drive spinning and trying to locate files your OS will run quicker allowing you to be more productive but also save on energy since there is no moving parts in a solid state drive over here like the silicon power 512 gig NVMe PCIe P34 A60 model what this one is called Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications to see exactly when I post a new video. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video.